I feel like 2022, I wasn't as visual. I wasn't as out there as I used to be. And that is something that used to exponentially grow my brand, really taking pictures, creating content. Like, of course, that's what, that's why I'm a video coach because you gotta get on camera, honey. I used to buy a shirt or a top or a dress and I would do a brand shoot in it. That's it. I wouldn't be able to wear it anymore, <laughs> but I just needed to show up differently for work. And I know, I know, I know. It's it's not about the fact that, you know, oh my gosh, I don't wanna wear something again. No, it's not, it's not about that. It's that I would personally get sick of seeing myself in something. And so this has been a really good solution. I'm still testing it, but I'm loving it. Guys, oh my gosh, let me tell you, I have been using Rent the Runway. Well, not have been, I actually, <laughs> I just got it. I didn't just get it. Ooh, this is a lie. I've had it for like two months now, but this is the first time I'm dressed and recording in it. And I'll tell you why I got Rent the Runway as a business owner. Let me tell you something. First of all, you can expense it because I'm using it for work. <laughs> I'm not using it for personal reasons, but Here's the reason why I decided to get Rent the Runway. I used to buy a shirt or a top or a dress and I would do a brand shoot in it and it, like, that's it. I wouldn't be able to wear it anymore. <laughs> and I know, I know, I know. It's it's not about the fact that, you know, oh my gosh, I don't wanna wear something again. No, it's not, it's not about that. It's that I would personally get sick of seeing myself in something. Oh God. So I'm like, listen, I can't be using all my personal clothes to do work in. So let me sign up for Rent the Runway and, you know, get a few things and I'm able to use them, record, create my content, then eventually send them back and get something else. So some of these things that I'm wearing, you're going to get sick of seeing it right? Well, I'm going to get sick of seeing it because I'm making sure that when I do get something, I am doing my brand shoots. I, this year, I'm, I'm back to being so much more visual. I feel like 2022, I wasn't as visual. I wasn't as like out there as I used to be. And that is something that used to exponentially grow my brand, really taking pictures, creating content. Like, of course, that's what, that's why I'm a video coach because you got to get on camera, honey. But I also just could not be using all of my my personal stuff, which I don't have a lot of, to be really honest, because I just am a very minimal person when it comes to what I wear, but I just needed to show up differently for work. And so this has been a really good solution. I'm still testing it, but I'm loving it. So I am on a plan where I get like five outfits and I'm able to, you know, put those outfits on. I'll tell you what it does for me. The confidence, honey, is exponential. Is that the right way or word? I don't know. But I feel really good because I'm an accessories girl. So I love glasses. You guys know that's a part of my brand, my visual identity as it pertains to my brand. My glasses, my earrings. I used to wear really like, you know, beautiful statement earrings. You know, my hair, it's, it's, it's all, it all brings this thing together. Especially when I go to physical events, I, st I stand out. I stick out like a sore thumb because people are like, who the heck is this girl? And so just wanting to double down on that because it's something that's worked really really well for me and really differentiating myself in this space. Also, the kind of people that I work with and that I wanna work with, I want them to automatically know when you work with me, and you are, you know, deciding to get on camera, I'm going to challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and to be like the version of yourself that you never even, that you dreamed of being, but whew, I'm going to push you to, to go there, to be there. And so this is a part of my personality and I love helping other people step into their greatness, especially when it comes to getting on camera, because then you're able to maximize your brand, become a thought leader, really just amplify your voice in your space or in the space that you're in. I think we're having a weather emergency right now. Texas weather is absolutely insane. Oh my God. Okay. It's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Everyone, what's the procedure? Stay Anyway, I, I've been loving being able to get dressed, get things done, especially when it comes to recording or shooting and things like that. But then I never have to see it again. So if I kill kill it, like, like I'm killing this sweater. I, I took so many photos in this sweater. It's gonna be all over my site, all over my branding. It's going to be everywhere. And so I'm glad <laughs> because after I send it back, I will never see it again. 
And that feels really good to me. <laughs> so if you have been thinking about getting or doing Rent the Runway or something like this, definitely do it. What I'm gonna do is just show you a few pieces that I got. I'm not gonna try on everything, but as like, look out, make sure you're subscribed because you're gonna see the different outfits as things go along and you're gonna be able to see how I style it. And you know, I feel like when you're on camera, for me, I think about it like I'm on television, I'm preparing myself for something, I'm manifesting something, honey. So I wanna make sure, especially in this year and for this season, I wanna make sure that I'm showing up as my best. Um, you look good, you feel good. You dress for the part, you get the part, right? So for me, that is a part of my belief and my identity. It's just, I just love it, okay, hello. <laughs> I love it. So it's something that I'm gonna be doing. Now I will, I won't lie, I, I'll be doing more tops because you don't really see my body. I have on, uh, some jeans, which is kind of cute, but you don't really see my body when I'm filming, except for when I do a third angle view, which is on right now. So you do see that third angle or even maybe dresses, right? So I don't have to wear pants. I don't have to think about pants. My thing is, decision fatigue. And trust me, I've branded my black sweater, but I'm ready to step out of that and just do some more. Like, I love this shirt. <laughs> and it's funny because lately I've been wanting my set to be a little more feminine and girly. So, you know, I've been using my pink squiggle back there. But what I really love is that this shirt has hearts and the pink squiggle. I wish it could be a uniform because it feels like you're coming here and you're feeling the love. I hope you're feeling the love. How you doing? But yeah. Uh, let's get into the pieces before I start rambling. You guys know I am good for that. Okay, guys, so P.S. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> Maybe it should be sponsored, but it's not a sponsored video. But it comes in this bag, right? So this is the Rent the Runway bag, I guess. It's a big bag and it gets delivered. And it, guys, I live in a building <laughs> and these people here are <laughs> wealthy, honey. And they do Rent the Runway too, because it's the few of us that get deliveries from Rent the Runway. So listen, these people aren't buying clothing. Anyway, I am usually filming in a cool space. I, I make it really cold whenever I am actually recording, recording content. So just so that I'm not sweating. Nobody wants to be sweaty. Ooh here out of place and so <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm using sweaters I don't know how, what I'm gonna do well uh, maybe I know what I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do for the summer I'm lying maybe I'll do like just lighter materials just because Texas gets really hot and my apartment is just all windows so that's gonna be interesting anyway um so I got some sweaters because I just love a good sweater a good sweater just I mean even in the summer I am that girl I'm that girl I used to be ashamed of it but I am that girl. I love a good sweater. But even in the summer, like, you know, if you're in a cold place or whatever, like a good cardigan is always good to have. So let me show you. Um, this is the, one of the sweaters. I like it. You know, it, it's cute. I have not tried this on just yet, but I have a feeling I'm gonna like it. And also I think it's gonna look cute with this set. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think down in the comments. Also, would you ever do Rent the One Way or do you already do Rent the One Way? Rent the, rent the runway. Today, Junior! I think this is gonna be so cute. I don't know what I wear in it just yet, but I think I'm gonna really like it. Also, so these are lighter. They're lighter. One, I can already see I will never wear. I don't know what made me get this. <laughs> so it's like a floral shirt. I think sometimes I underestimate my size. And in looking at this, it's so large. It is really big and I don't think it'll fit me. And, and it's not that I have anything against floral shirts. This one just does not look like my style. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on and I'll like it. We're gonna see, cause I'm gonna wear this. That's a good challenge for me. I'm gonna challenge myself to see how I like it or if I like it. This is the next one. I like this one. I actually do. I'm excited about this one. It's actually a dress. I love the colors. I really do love the colors. Um, it's white and blue. I love a good blue. I love navy. I love, I just love every single blue in the world. Like now I'm like, is blue a part of my branding? It is. I love blue, especially navy. Navy blue does something for me. Um, I'm excited about this one. It's, it's really cute. And again, I only use these for work. So although I have to send these back really soon, 
Um, but I'm doing more recording now. So I'm recording for classes. I'm recording for podcasts. Like there are lots of things going on. This is the last one. So now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, what made me get this? I don't know. But also I thought that about this sweater before I put it on. Would you wear this sweater? Are you into bold stuff or no? I want to know. Look at this. You can't even see it well, but it's pink. It's all pink. But what I love is it goes with my squiggly. Now you guys know my squiggly. I'll link it down below. I got it from Amazon and Rio put it up. It's so cool. Um, and I, you can change, like I can do different colors on the squiggly. I could change the colors and I love that about it. But this top is gonna go with that pink. Guys, I am really tapping into my feminine this year because I've been, <laughs> been masculine for a very long time and when i say i feel like this is a whole other video or podcast episode i am learning so much about really leaning into my feminine i've been leaning heavily into my masculine i, I know it's because i'm building a business or have been building a business for so long there's something about building a business that brings out your masculine anyway that's a topic for another day but this one it's pink it's cute i can't wait to wear it so if you want to see how all of those things look definitely tune in i'm really excited i'm i'm ex i'm excited about this year sometimes i'm not excited but when you're a business owner you understand that energy like some days you're like oh shit, like this is amazing this is amazing it's target fantastic and then sometimes you're like let me tell you <laughs> It's been rough. Anyway, guys, so that's my Rent the Runway haul. Let me know if I should do these some more, if I should talk a little more about like getting ready for getting on camera and all that jazz. I love doing that kind of stuff. Um, and now I'm excited to get those, to wear those outfits and put them together. And I think also I've been recording videos for years and now I got to tap into the dopamine aspect of recording my videos. Like what makes me feel good about it other than sharing valuable content for the people that really need it. P.S. If you've gotten to this point and you have not gotten our video clarity guide just yet, who, and you're looking to get on camera, get really confident on camera to market your business, really position yourself as a thought leader or expert in your industry, stand out if you're ready to step up and really create a personal brand that is very visual, that has a really strong visual identity, which is essential in 2023 and beyond, you wanna get that video content clarity guide. I created it because I felt like so many people were burnt out on trying to garner engagement and likes on social media rather than really figuring out a strategy that works so that you attract the right people and you're able to make a sustainable income with your own business, <laughs> right? I think that a lot of us are so caught up in trying to be influencers and creators that we don't realize, which is nothing wrong with that because that was my journey as well, but we just don't realize that we're able to monetize we're able to grow a business we're able to attract specific people for a specific product or service and still be so much of ourselves and share so much of what we love but integrated into a content strategy for tracking the right people nurturing them and converting them into customers anyway guys <laughs> zaley out this was fun this was really fun i love you and i will talk to you soon take care <laughs>